Alright, so it's a mild hybrid engine, but it uh, looks eerily similar to the gasoline engine found in the previous Ortiga. Huh. I mean, the, the alternator is a little bit bigger, or starter motor generator, that's what they call it. But other than that, yeah. Who the heck are they kidding, pare? Dude, this is the Suzuki Ortiga Hybrid GLX. And in this video, we will find out if the hybrid system makes any difference when it comes to the driving performance. Let's do this. The Suzuki Ortiga Hybrid currently has the distinction of being the most affordable hybrid 7-seater in the Philippines today. At only 1,153,000 Philippine Pesos, it offers all the perks of a hybrid vehicle plus 7 seats. The closest 7-seater hybrid is over 2 million Philippine Pesos, so it is enough to say that the Suzuki Ortiga Hybrid GLX occupies a very special place. But for this price, does the Suzuki Ortiga Hybrid give back all the benefits that you can expect from a hybrid vehicle? Well dude, stick around as we find out in this video. Here at Reagan's Rides, we do car reviews of SUVs, sports cars, trucks, and everything in between. So subscribe and hit the bell. Alright, so officially, the Ortiga Hybrid is a qualified hybrid, at least for our local laws. I mean, even the, the vehicle's registration papers will show that the fuel type of the Suzuki Ortiga Hybrid uh, says that it's hybrid. Uh, that means that if you get pulled over by a traffic enforcer on your number coding day, you can show that registration paper and avail of the number coding exemption uh, as an incentive to qualified hybrids. Now, of course, yeah, we'll just have to wait for the LTO or Land Transportation Office to release the official hybrid and EV plates well, because you know EVs and hybrids here in the Philippines will get special license plates uh, to, to show everyone that you're really a hybrid so we'll just have to wait for that to come out to be really sure that the Suzuki Ortiga is a qualified hybrid but dude based on all indications yes this Ortiga hybrid will qualify now, for the philosophers out there, alam mo na yung mga pilosopo sa inyo, <laughs> that are saying that the number coding is for vehicle reduction, blah, 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 blah. Dude, stop being a philosopher and get with the program. Alright? It's called an incentive. Right? It's an incentive. Now, that number coding exemption to qualified hybrids and EVs is only until 2030 so that it will encourage people to adopt, you know, greener motoring options. Now, the drive itself has some slight changes from the regular gasoline-powered Ortiga before. You see, you'll feel a slight boost in acceleration at the low end which is the starter generator, you know, helping the Ortiga get up to speed. See, the starter generator, which takes the place of the alternator, by the way, in this Ortiga Hybrid, yeah, it adds 3 horsepower and 50 Newton meters of torque. And uh, truth be told, guys, I thought that I wouldn't feel that. Uh, but yeah, you can feel it. You can feel a slight, slight difference in terms of acceleration. I mean, it's not enough to wow you, but you know that it's there. You know that it's a slight improvement. Now, other than that, additional acceleration push at the low end, the drive character of this Suzuki Ortiga is yeah, pretty much the same as before. But dude, that is great news. You know why? Because the Ortiga is one of the most well-sorted drive fields in the MPV class. <laughs> the steering feel is perfectly tuned for an MPV and the power, although it's not really the most powerful of them all, the power is adequate for its life purpose. 
Now the engine is the same 1.5 liter 4 banger from before and it's capable of putting out 103 horses and yeah, 138 newton meters of torque. Of course, you have to factor in the additional 3 horsepower and 50 newton meters of torque that that uh, starter generator can also, you know, deliver. The thing is, the transmission of this vehicle is still a 4-speed automatic which some of you might say it's archaic but dude it still works right it still works i mean if it ain't broke why fix it right which is exactly what we can say about the exterior styling in fact yeah suzuki stayed with the design of the previous generation ertiga here such that you will need a keen eye in order to spot any difference in fact dude yeah here in the front fascia the only thing that's changed is the design of this chromed out front grille which means that even this top spec Ertiga Hybrid GLX still has to make do with halogen headlights. Well at least they're automatic halogen headlights now. When you look at the design of the Suzuki Ertiga Hybrid GLX, you will see that this my friends is an MPV for people who like that classic MPV look. You see, the Ertiga is not trying hard to look like a crossover or even an SUV. Now, this vehicle, my friends, embraces its MPV pedigree. So much so that we have these large and wide opening second row doors right there. Now, we also have a set of smallish yeah, 15 inch alley wheels here which yeah, doesn't really look that good. I mean, it, if you have a set of 17s, yeah, it would look much better. But you will thank those 15-inch alloy wheels when the time comes that you have to replace the tires. You see, pare, 15-inch tires are more affordable than 17-inch tires. Now, as for the mechanical bits, well, the Ertiga Hybrid uh, takes on the no-frills approach which means that it still has, well, it has ventilated disc brakes up front, but it still has drum brakes at the back. Now, the suspension is also just a basic MPV suspension, which means that we have a MacPherson front suspension and a torsion beam at the back. Here inside, you can see that the Ertiga Hybrid is still a familiar cabin. Now I say it's familiar because it's essentially the same as before. I mean, we do get some tiny improvements here and there like the blue accents on your analog gauges and uh, that hybrid display on the multi-information display, the colored multi-information display. Oh, oh yeah, and we also have a cruise control here now, so there's that. You see, Suzuki yeah, uh, just gives the Ertiga the minimum amount that you need to have a comfortable drive and believe it or not pare it actually works i mean it actually works you see we have a 10 inch touchscreen infotainment system here with apple carplay and android auto you also have the image of our reverse camera there i mean these are the things that you would appreciate you'd appreciate that they're there and the ertiga hybrid gives you that i mean sure there are other things here that would be nice to upgrade like let's say the manual handbrake here or maybe if they threw in um, yeah, a wireless charge pad but then dude if you think about it if you have uh, you know if you upgrade the manual handbrake to an electronic park brake and if you have a wireless charge pad then that would mean that there will be more things that can break in the future right I mean it's like the the Ertiga hybrid here is the epitome of a KISS MPV you know, KISS, keep it simple, stupid. <laughs> now I understand that Suzuki wants to keep the Ertiga, you know, simple and straightforward, which helps to keep this MPV's price to be really competitive. Pero pare, what I don't like is the mildness of the hybrid system. You see, it's so mild that it's practically the same as the engine start-stop systems found in other car makers. I mean, dude, even my own 2018 Mazda MX-5 Miata has an engine start-stop system, but heck, Mazda doesn't call it a hybrid, you know? <laughs> it doesn't call it as a hybrid. Now, the Suzuki Ertiga 
has a tiny 12 volt lithium ion battery pack here which means that it's only good enough to power let's say your accessories like your aircon your or your radio if let's say you're you're idling at a traffic light not a traffic stop see you can't drive in full ev mode as well in this suzuki ortiga hybrid and every time that you start the car the gasoline engine is already running it's idling you see other regular hybrids out there when you start the car it's going to be quiet because they have a larger battery pack and there's more juice in that battery pack to help power your accessories and stuff while you're not moving but we cannot say the same for this suzuki ortiga hybrid then there's the fuel economy you know it's not too far off from a regular non-hybrid gasoline powered suzuki ortiga you see, full hybrids with larger battery packs and a separate electric motor would excel when it comes to heavy city traffic, but I didn't experience that with this Ortiga Hybrid. See, I was driving around heavy Makati city traffic and I only got 6.8, less than 7 kilometers per liter, which is practically the same as a non-hybrid car. Now to compare, I also got to drive the Toyota Corolla Cross Hybrid and when I drove that in heavy city traffic, that vehicle gave me 12.6 kilometers per liter. Now the highway fuel consumption of the Ortiga is also nearly the same as the regular one. You see, I'm getting around 18 kilometers per liter in this vehicle. So yeah, dude, you could see why you know, it's, it's a little bit disappointing because you're not getting the, the expected fuel economy uh, that you would get from, let's say, a regular hybrid that has a larger battery pack. You see, the regular hybrids out there, yeah, in, in light city drives, they could even go up to 20 kilometers per liter. But yeah, I've never experienced that with the Ortiga hybrid in the seven days that I've driven this vehicle. The safety bits are also a little bit left behind when compared to the other new MPVs out there. You see the top spec Ortiga hybrid doesn't give you driver assist aids, which may turn off some people, but pare, there are still a big bunch of drivers out there who prefer to keep things simple when it comes to their drive, you know, when it comes to the safety. You know, they don't want you know the intrusive driver assist aids that might disrupt their driving style <laughs> okay but dude at the very least at the very least i wish that this suzuki ortiga hybrid came with more airbags because uh, seriously pare at over a million philippine pesos for an mpv you know, just having a pair of airbags here is practically a sin now as for the ride comfort let's check out the back the Suzuki Ortiga Hybrid has one of the most spacious passenger cabins in the MPV class and that, my friends, is its strongest point. And that's a great strong point to have, uh, especially if you're an MPV. I mean, more space is always better, right? Now, dude, the ride quality of the Ortiga is also smooth and comfortable. It's one of the smoother MPVs out there. And it's also helped by the fact that we have large picture windows here, courtesy of those large doors. Unfortunately though, uh, when it comes to amenities, well, we only have a 12 volt outlet there, and we don't even have a center armrest here. See, we don't have a center armrest, we don't have USB charge ports, but we do have a row of AC vents on the ceiling, which is, well, typical of any MPV. Now, still guys, at least we have a lot of space here in the second row and that also applies to the third row seats of the Suzuki Ortiga Hybrid. You see, the third row of the Ortiga yeah, is the largest. I find it to be the largest in the MPV class uh, such that you can comfortably fit regular size adults in that third row. Now, the same can also be applied to the cargo space because the Ortiga gives back 550 liters of cargo space uh, when you fold the third row seats. So that, my friends, is good enough for around four medium-sized luggage. With due respect to Suzuki, the Ortiga Hybrid is, at best, 
a mild hybrid MPV that delivers minimal fuel economy improvements. The smaller 12-volt lithium-ion battery also means that you spend more time with the gasoline engine on, which means you don't really get the lesser emissions that you can expect from a regular hybrid. Still, it is a small step forward, and it's good enough to nudge people towards greener motoring. Plus, it's also good enough to qualify for the local incentives of hybrid vehicles like number coding exemption until the year 2030. You see, pare, it's the same familiar Suzuki Ertiga, but just made a little bit greener. Thanks for watching.